What is going on guys? Welcome back to Switch Life Garage with your boy Caleb. Happy quarantine, happy Easter. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, as for myself, you know, I've still been working. Everything been going as usual. I'm pretty introvert person, so, you know, haven't really been noticing any effects out here. But I got another Del Sol video for you guys. Uh, I know a lot of people, well not a lot of people, a few people been asking me, hitting me up. Hey, when are you going to work on the seats? When are you going to be cleaning the seats? How are you going to be cleaning the seats? What exactly are you going to be doing to it? So this video is for you guys. Now if you guys been following along, you guys know the seats have not been in the Del Sol because I have taken them out. I kind of broke them apart. If you guys been following on the videos, you kind of see the parts on the, uh, on the side there. But the seats have been out for a while and I, I know they're going to take some time so that's why I've been postponing it. But I've been really trying to take the steps to making the car a streetable car, a daily car. So if you guys saw some of the previous videos, I did change out some of the interior. I checked the fuel pump, put in some speakers, did the speaker wiring, put a B-pillar Bannon bar. Um, I mean, a lot of work really from where I bought the car originally. So like I stated, this video is going to be working on the seats only. And um, I think you guys are really going to be liking this video because it's pretty detailed and I don't think... Um, too many people go into as much detail that I'm about to show you. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Let's get right to it. One of the last things I need to do inside of the Del Sol is get these seats cleaned up. And you can see just storing them in here, they're, you know, making the carpet dirty, leaving a bunch of old foam behind. And so I need to get those cleaned up. Main part, you need know, to take care of the seats because obviously you're sitting on them and you don't want to sit on something old, dirty, and nasty. Here's the seats right here. This one's the driver's side. Not too worried about the hole, but I am worried about how it's looking. If you take a look at the rails, they're looking kind of nasty as well. Rust. So, got to take care of that. You know, don't want that spreading around. For the passenger side, it looks in a lot better condition. I believe I can get these stains out of it. But as well, you know, we're looking at the the rails looking real nasty. We'll just see how much better we could get these looking. Okay, there's the driver's seat all separated, took off the rail. Seats ready to be cleaned up. And as well, here's some of the other parts that came off of the seat. And uh, time to clean everything up. But also, I'm gonna take apart the passenger seat right now. Okay, here I have a roll of 180. You guys can see it. That's 180. I'm gonna go over the rails by hand now. I got the majority with the wire wheel. And so, time to put some more time in. It takes a long time, but I mean, rails are pretty tricky just because they move everywhere and got so many parts. But let's get right to it.
here we have the driver's side rails. Look how nasty they look, man. You see that rust in there? I don't really want to move the rails because it kind of hurts my hand to do it. But see how much rust? Looks nasty. So right now I'm just trying to clean up the dirt off it. You know, the grease and everything. The dust and whatever, whatever is on there. And um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing next. But let's go ahead and wash these up real quick. All right, after a lot of wire wheeling, finally we got one, one piece of the passenger seat that is clean, complete rust taken off for the most part. Uh, I just covered up the mechanism. No one's going to really see it. I know I kind of have some uh, little spots in there, but it doesn't have to be the smoothest paint as long as it protects it from rust. This is what I'm going to be using to paint it. Uh, Krylon Fusion all-in-one gloss black I was thinking about using a uh, satin black or a matte black but I mean I seen gloss black in cars um, particularly more of like the American cars and it looks pretty good and I've seen satin black as well but for this application I'm gonna go ahead and go with gloss Okay, so there we have it. Looks very nice. Still wet right now. Don't mind the music. That is not me. So here's this other seat rail. I believe I have it to the best that I could get it at. You guys saw in the last clip, I was sanding in right there and the rails. Little bit of rust still, but it's a very hard area to reach. The old body shop trick is to get a paint stick and put on the uh, sandpaper around it. So you see I just broke the paint stick and uh, it fits right in. But down a bare metal, gonna go ahead and paint it with some Krylon. Here's the paint I'm going to be using for the handles. Just did a uh, two and a quarter inches that I taped off, and I think it's going to look a lot, a lot better with the red on it. Satin pimento. Get right to it. About three coats.
Alright, so the rails are finished up and now I need to clean up the seats. You guys see how dirty they are? You want to see how clean we can get them? This is the driver cushion right here. So it does obviously, you know, has more wear than others. Uh, the passenger seat looks pretty good. That's the top portion, the, the seat rest. And then here's the cushion for the passenger. And we've got the driver's side. So I don't know what's going on there. It looks like they stapled it. Um, probably coming loose. But you guys see how they are. We're going to see how clean we could get them. I got some like a quarter cup of OxyClean and some water with a brush in there. So I'm going to scrub up the uh, the cushions. And then I have a carpet cleaner right here. Just some regular water in there and then we're just going to use that to soak up the OxyClean and try to get all the dirt out of the, the cloth. But um, And then after I finish it up I'm going to have to let them sit out so they can dry. Already dried up. There's a driver's side. Obviously, it's going to have the worst damage. Uh, the passenger got a stain right there, but it looks a lot better. You guys can see the what color it's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it's still dirty, but what color it's supposed to be and what color it is on the outside. Even on the bottom of the, the seat cushion right there, or the. Uh, upper portion see there's a big tear in here a lot of getting in and out of the car as you could probably expect but they came out very nice they came out pretty clean for the most part and um, you know still in usable condition Now some people might ask me why didn't I paint the seat pan and on these seats they're already black and they're not even rusted at all so that's the reason why I didn't take out the seat pan this one as well obviously it just got in dirty from me cleaning up the seats but they came out pretty nice for what they are Now last but not least, we do have the painted rails, which I spent, I don't know how many hours, spent a lot of hours taking off all the rust with the wire wheels, sanding, painting. Guys, get a real up close look at it.
This is going to be the passenger seat. And of course you got the wire that connects the um, left and right rail. The rail right here. The one closest to the door. Very clean. Putting that time in. Then as well, here we got the rail closest to the tunnel. See if I stand it up. The red looks very nice. Just a little touch I thought would look clean. You guys already know I did this one just as good. It looks sick. Well, all right, I hope you guys enjoy the clips that I put together. Um, some of the things that I might have left out. Um, when I was painting the rails, everything got four coats of paint. So I wanted it nice and thick because rails are pretty prone to rust. Just because they sit so low, we got so much moisture in the car, humidity, what have you. Here in Houston, it gets pretty humid in the cars. And... Um, also, Del Sol's are kind of prone to it just because they have so many leaks. So if you don't fix those leaks, you're going to have humidity um, causing the rust. Now, I did thoroughly clean the seats. I took out all the grease, all the dust. So make sure you do that as well before you paint because all that won't let the paint adhere to the metal. And now, after the rails were painted, I gave them, to be quite honest, I probably gave them as of now about a week to dry so I feel very confident that they're dried up and ready to be assembled now I know a lot of people when they paint stuff they're probably going to throw it on the next day or within a few hours after painting it I don't really recommend that I mean I know it's kinda of hard not to because you got the parts ready to go you want to throw your car together but I really recommend not to let it cure so it kind of hardens and you don't start chipping the paint on the rails and then it starts to rust back up again or just you know a little bit of surface rust but it can get pretty bad if you let it uh, proceed now as for the work I done the rails came out sick I think you guys could uh, admit to that as well they came out very nice man the gloss black and then I got the satin red pimento on the handles and I think it makes it just pop I think when I assemble the seats back together it's just gonna it's going to stand out. Even though it's just seat rails, it's a little bit of details that matter. For the seats themselves, they cleaned up pretty nicely. I mean, they are used seats. They're from 93. And they've been in the sun. They've been sitting in the car. Uh, they've been having years of use. So, I mean, 
you got to expect that to happen on these seats especially with cloth seats they start to fade what have you leather is a bit better but leather as well you know nothing lasts forever to be very honest all time put together I probably spent I don't know 15 20 hours separated in many days you know I do work full time and you know I try to get things done on the weekend not just work on the car I try to set main time for that but you know it just takes a lot of time the rust you're trying to get every little crevice on the rails what have you and it takes a lot of time a lot of work you get tired the drill is vibration with your hands your fingers your sanding and um, so I feel very accomplished with this job and I think it really shows on how much time and effort I put into them let me know what you guys think right below in the comment section let me know what you guys think and um, you guys too as well could be doing this you just gotta be patient I recommend to just be very patient with it now as far as cleaning the seats that probably only took about an hour and a half so that's something very quick you could do if you have the carpet cleaner um, the solution I use to clean the seats, like I stated in the video, it was just about a quarter cup of some OxyClean, the, uh, the powder form, threw it in the bucket and filled up the bucket, making sure to stir up that OxyClean so I don't have the grit in the very bottom and I don't want it setting in the cloth. So I was just stirring it up with the water hose and filled up about halfway of a five gallon bucket. And um, it came out very nice, they dried up very nicely and um, no complaints here let me know what you guys think on that as well but all right guys like I stated go ahead and comment down below uh, all the information on how to reach me what have you is in the description box as well and if you're not subscribed I recommend to go ahead and subscribe you're already viewing my my videos and you made it to the end so I think you would be a good candidate to subscribe to the channel but alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. it. took me quite a while to edit everything together because I I don't even know, probably about 10 hours worth of footage and I just cut it down into this short video you guys viewed. So let me know, give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, let me know how I did. But alright guys, I'm going to have to catch you on the next video, alright?